What's up lads, Scott of Soap here and welcome to the brand new update on Pixelmon. Today we are bringing you 4.0.7. This update has many, many cool features. And we're going to get through and we're going to show you guys everything to do with this update. From the little, little, little changes to very big changes. Now what we're going to firstly start with, we're going to start with the new PCs. As you can tell, the PC has got a brand new like icon. It's very cool. And what you can do, you can change your colour PCs as well as their new model. The models look a lot, a lot fresher now as you can tell it's like an actual real keyboard. It looks, it looks quite nice, a little Windows keyboard. So, I guess that's it really. The way you change colour to them, like I'll show you right now. Uh, let me just get a green. Cactus green. So, we've got a little cactus green here on our light blue PC. Right click, change colour and it obviously the library changes it back it looks very nice they all look a lot fresher from the back you got a little pokemon logo as well and i'll just show you guys quickly this is a, a poke center that spawned all the pcs naturally spawn red as you can tell and you just change them through the color obviously rose red does nothing to them next we're going to go to some more features that add stuff to really the gym now this is this is an elevator it looks like a normal quartz but it actually is an elevator this is how you craft it as you can tell it just looks like a quartz, uh, quartz block you have eight iron around redstone it's pretty simple and what you do you jump on it you press space and you obviously got one you press space again you got one you press shift and you go all the way down it's, it's really good and like as you can i'll, I'll go into fifth screen for it uh, shit if I can control it yep boom 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 of shift only does it once I mean goes all the way down but it's pressing space makes them go up slower now what else we have which, which is different is this called a movement plate there's currently no way to craft it from what I can tell but it's very cool it, if you guys have played normal Pokemon's like this is apparent in Pokemon red and bl red and blue uh, the Team Rocket hideout, which you find at oh shit, which you find under the little casino, whatever they call it, and you can you use these to navigate around. You see this as it goes up. You you just basically place it by looking the direction, and as you can tell, it just does it like this. It's, it's pretty cool. You can go left, down. I'll I'll just show you guys quickly. Doom, boom, boom. You like you can you go on one, which will lead on to another, which I'll show a bit more in a second like this like this and as we can see right here we go all the way around oh shit uh, you can go around like this and I'll show you guys and also another thing as well let me just quickly show you guys something uh, slash pokey spawn sweetcoon Look, the Pokemon also do as well. I'll show you guys with a little one. As you can see, the Pokemon are doing it very, very nicely. Uh, oh, one of them has disappeared. But what we also have, these spawn naturally walking around. They'll each have different things. This is a move relearner who also just apparently disappeared, which I'm just going to quickly put him back down. Um, you basically right. What the fuck? Um. Let me quickly go to game mode zero. Let me try that. There we go. Basically, select the Pokemon, and you choose the move what was previously there. So we'll choose faint, uh, faint attack, get out, fake out. There you go. Uh, what we also have as well. Let me go back to game mode one for this. We have the move tutor. As I said before, these naturally spawn walking around, so you have no. No problem finding them in survival. Move tutor, you can actually change them to whatever ones you want. You can get the normal people walking around, say, so got the bug guy. And the move, you can change, like, here we go. Uh, move tutor, and I'll right click on him. Let's select Nuzleaf. You can choose, say, a move like Magnet Rise. But it has cost to the right, see how much it costs. So it's, it's really cool. It's actually really cool, like this. Next, we have items. We have a Revival Herb, Energy Root. Iron Ball, Ring Target, Grip Claw, Energy Powder, Heal Powder, Miracle Berry, and Float Stun. Not 100% what each of these do, but I guess, I don't know, I'm not really 100% about these. So, we'll find out about them later, I guess. If you guys if you guys want to know, just look it up. Go on any Pokemon Wiki, it'll do the same thing. 
Next, we'll go through Pokemon. We'll leave this till last. That's probably the best thing. Shinx. Shinx uh, model is like finally. This is obviously the best part of the mod. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, best part of the update. Um, Shinx is now. His model is a lot more clear. He has a lot of scratches on him. So his model looks a lot more fresh, as you can tell. And as you can say, there's a shiny as well. Next, we have the first of the lines, which is C dot. It's actually, it's actually quite small to see, but these are all, all of these are the original size. These are what you'll mostly come across. But I guess we'll change him for this to ginormous so we can see him better. He is looking very, very nice. Trust me, he looks very, very, very snazzy. And here we have the shiny version. I'll show you them walking around as well because a lot of them have cool animations. Here's C dot. I can't get any bigger. Here you go. Look at him. Come around. Come on. Run, run. It's not really cooperating, is he? But you saw that little glimpse right there, I guess. Next we have Nuzleaf. He looks very, very cool. As you can tell he's got a really brushed up model. And there's a shiny behind him. I'll show you the backs of him. You can tell right here. And we'll show you him in action. He's got really cool animation, actually. Here he is. Look, he's got like a little fighting stance, I guess. Looks very nice. See him running. Follow me. Yes, that is it. That looks very nice indeed. Look at that. I guess I'll show you Seedot as well because he'll come running after me now. So, look at that. He doesn't really have his feet move as much, I don't think, but he still moves around. Next, we have Shiftry, and he looks very fucking cool. You guys want to see how big he is with the ginormous? Look at that. That's a beast and a half. Look at him. He looks very cool. There's a shiny behind him. Let's make Nuzzle even see how ginormous he is. He's still big as well. <laughs> so there's Shiftery, we'll show you him. He has he has a pretty cool walk as well. Look, you see his normal stance. He's walking like that, here we go. Let's see him. Look at that. That is a very cool running animation. They're getting really well of the animations. Next we'll move on to the second line, which is the Shroomish line. They're really working on Gen 3 now because I guess they want to finish it probably by Pixel 5.0. Yeah, Shroomish. I guess we'll make him a bit bigger again. No, oh, no. Ginormous. Here you go. He looks very cool. I like him. And here's the shiny version behind him. The shiny's probably the best with the... Uh, I don't know. Zang uh, the, uh, the next Pokemons have cool shinies. But let's, let me show you guys him in action. Here we go. Let's see him run. Hey, run this way, baby. Come on. Come on. Where's he going? What's he doing? You gonna follow me? Here, let's see him. He's got a cool run animation, as you can tell, his little flaps move. So, let's go on to his final evolution, which is Breloom. Breloom looks very cool. Let's see how big Breloom gets. That's big. Um, he's got a very, very nice model. As you can tell, the shiny looks very cool as well. We'll show you guys him in the running and look at that, that stance tail wagging around let's see him run look at that he's like little hot salon like a kangaroo look at that it's very cool so next we shall get on to one what is probably my favorite pokemon of the update and i know it's going to be lots zangu zangu sucks let's see how big he get oh fuck that's not um ginormous let's have a look at this wow his shiny looks very cool we'll show you him normally uh here we go Really quickly make it day. He looks very, very nice standing right there. Look at him. And the shiny is even better. I'll show his running animation. Look at this. Look at him. Look at that. That's the best animation. That's why I love him so much. Look at that running. That is that is going really detailed right there. Look, let me let me quickly chuck him out. I can't get him to stop running. Look at that. That's cool. And let's go on to the final Pokemon, which is um I forgot his name. Okay, we're going to actually get him out of the PC before I show him. Surviper, here he comes. Look at this. Look at this beast. Surviper, I had to even fucking extend the pen, he was so big. You want to see his fucking biggest one. So, Surviper, a very, very nice brushed up model. Actually, looks really beautiful. These models are getting even better and better, and the shiny looks just as good. Let's see how big we can get him, actually. That's an NPC editor. Um, oh, fuck. Uh. Fucking hell. That is like, it's like fucking Cobra or some shit. Look at that. And let's show you him in action. 
Here we go. Look at him. That is a very cool animation. I'll give I'll give them that. They're all wiggling around and then standing still. Looks very cool indeed. Look at it. It's nice. It's just these models are brilliant. This game. Now we're gonna go on to the final bit. If I can get him. Can I? Does he want me to access this? Does he want me to access this? Come on. Piece of shit. Um. It's not cooperating. They quit. Also, they have every single TM. Uh, I don't remember where they had it from. From about 75 now to. They have most of the HMs now to 165, which is very, very good. That is even more so. Even more moves to add to your Pokemans. Brilliant. Okay, now we're cooking. Let's get my Breloom and Zangoos, because these are going to be the geezers I'm going to be using. Now, what they've been working on for quite some time is double battles. It's, it's been in it for a while, but it's never been extreme as this now. Finally, this is this is when it gets good. We got Derek we're gonna be faced against. He's not level five, I think. Tell me, I changed him. He's not level five. He's level fifty. So we're gonna battle Derek. And we're gonna double bat him, battle him. So what we're gonna do? If you guys want to know the command, it's slash pokey battle, pokey battle two, and then your name. So and then like second player's name, the third player's name, fourth player's name, etc. etc. So that's basically it, and then we'll initiate a Pokeball. We're going to poke battle Derek. We're going to start with our Breloom. Here we go. Look at this. Double battle. So what, it's basically how you do it in normal games. So we're going to do Headbutt on Viper, and then Zangus. We're going to do Close Combat on Shift Group. Here we go. Look at it. Boom. He's gone already, basically. See you later, Alligator. It's just really, it's really well. It works exactly like the game. I love it. Ooh, how are we gonna, I don't think we're going to win this. I hate to break it to you, but we're going to finish off Shiftry quickly. Hope that Survivor can't, Survivor can't kill us. It's dynamic punch, this son of a bitch. He avoided it. Tosser. Mac punch him. Get that son of a gun. Uh, headbutt. Let's hopefully headbutt him to death. Come on. Yes, that's it. We might have won this. Come on. Yes, we've won. Well done. So, that's basically it really, this is a whole Pixelmon update, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of 4.0.7, keep an eye on my channel for even more Pixelmon news and updates, so, other than that, hope you guys enjoy this update, and I will be adding this to my survival world very, very soon, so, enjoy the update guys, uh, stay, stay connected, Twitter, everything like that, see you guys later, bye.